Welcome to Who Wants to Be an Entrepreneur with Nancy Gaskins. Inspiring and teaching everyday people how to create, fund, and live the life of your dreams, a life worth smiling and talking about. Personally, I believe the best way to do this is becoming an entrepreneur, owning and operating your own business. All our shows are recorded and archived so you can listen and learn online all year long, 24 seven. You can find us on all your social media platforms like Facebook, YouTube, and I'd like to invite you to join us on Fridays from 1130 to one for our weekly Lunch and Learn Zoom Friday event. Come bring your elevator pitch, an irresistible offer, and earn as you learn how to grow your business using this exciting new economy called virtual marketplaces. There's never been a better time than today to dust off that dream of becoming an entrepreneur. I'm encouraging everybody that I meet, everybody within my sphere of influence, to consider owning and operating your own business. You know what? The current COVID crisis was a huge wake-up call for a lot of people. It showed us just how vulnerable we were if you're relying on only one source of income. We've heard the phrase multiple streams of income, but unfortunately, many of us did not heed that advice, especially if you had one of those things called a J-O-B. You woke up one day and guess what? You couldn't go to work anymore. So you were scrambling. And what ended up happening was a lot of those people who were scrambling became overnight entrepreneurs. They had to find a way to keep their lights on, keep their mortgage paid, and keep food on the table. And when you go look at the Google search engine ratings and all of those things, some of the top things that you're going to find is home-based business opportunities, work from home, multiple streams of income. Why are they so hot right now? Because people are looking for affordable options. So I've decided to do something a little bit different beginning this uh, late summer into the fall. And we are inviting entrepreneurs from around the world to come on and join us and tell us about their experiences. They're sh gonna be sharing the good, the bad, and the ugly of what it means to be an entrepreneur in the year 2020. Our hope is that they're gonna inspire and encourage you to come join the ranks of us. Now, one of the things you need to know, it's not all sunshine and roses, and I say this all the time, we can't guarantee you that you're gonna become a millionaire and you're gonna have a million dollars in your bank account, but for most of us, it's a lifestyle that's full of potential and possibilities. And there's no way that we can put a price tag on that. There's a couple of stats that I keep on bringing up because I want you to internalize this. Now, these are for the United States, but I can assure you that they're basically the same throughout the world. Here they are. 48% of Americans have the dream to own and operate their own business someday. Today could be your someday. 51% who launch are over the age of 50. Why do you think that is? Over the age of 50, all these people launch a business. Well, it could be that you're a baby boomer. It could be you're entering into a new chapter of life. Sometimes you've worked so hard your whole life in jobs that really weren't your dream job, and you wake up and you decide, guess what? Life's too short. I'm going to go after my dreams, and I am going to finally start that business that I always said I would. The next stat, 69% start their businesses from home. I love that statistic because no longer do we have to worry about having the brick and mortar store and having all of that money tied up in the assets, capital basis, because we have online, we've got, you know, all of these things that we can do direct sales companies. And guess what? The average startup is $10,000. To a lot of people, $10,000 may not be very much, but for the normal person, might as well right now be a million dollars because most people don't have an extra $10,000 just lying around. So we've got some exciting opportunities for you that we're going to be sharing that you can get into business for yourself. We've got a huge network of entrepreneurs that are just standing on, just ready to help you. They want to help you rise higher, go further, faster. So we encourage you, come join our team. Come try us out. Take us for a test drive. Here's what you're going to find. We've got a platform that provides entrepreneurs a virtual place to meet, mastermind, do business together. We believe there's enough success to go around, folks. 
we're very competitive, but guess what? We meet, we share tools, tips, best practices. We even co-op and share resources. Think money. We learn, we cooperate, and we celebrate. So if you're ready to rise higher, go further faster, we invite you. Let's connect, partner, and profit, folks. You can find us on Facebook at hashtag Lunch and Learn Zoom Friday. And I'm so excited for today's guest. This is Miss Balbir Pabila. I met her several months ago, and I've just really come to love her, and I think you're going to do the same. So, Balbir, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Hi, Nancy. Well, thank you for having me. Um, well, I, I, I was born in India. I grew up in England. And um, my, the path that I wanted, I thought I wanted was accountancy. But being stuck in the computer department, I thought, and, and no, I'm going to do what I love, which is accounting. And that led me to a career of IT, which I loved. I loved the logic, the um, problem solving aspect of IT, talking to clients. But the company closed down and um, that gave me the opportunity to do something else. And, 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 I'm, and that's where I am today. I am doing what I love to do. So share your story, how you become an entrepreneur. Okay, you were talking about accounting. So obviously you were working for somebody else. How'd you get into your current business? And what is your dream? So... So whilst the end of my, so whilst um, I was looking for something else to do after the IT job closed, my marriage was not as healthy as I thought it was. I had spent my whole life in IT, blinkers on for IT, and I wasn't looking um, at my family, my environment. And unfortunately, the marriage broke down and I did not know anything about Legal Shield until someone came to me and said, you know, I do this thing called Legal Shield. And I thought, oh, that's fantastic. Uh, I love what I do. Uh, and I'm not a bad person. I don't need any legal help. And I thought I was really happy at that time. And then it was about six months to a year later. And I, and I phoned that woman up and I said, what was that thing that you were trying to tell me? Because I think I need it now. That's when I really got into Legal Shield. They helped me. Um, they they helped me with what my options were, and I, after another couple of months of asking questions, and they never got tired of me because I used to phone them up practically every day. Um, and my membership allowed that. I didn't get a bill for every time I called. I loved it, so I used the heck out of it. Uh, I got educated, and I finally decided to take the plunge. I got separated and then about 18 months after that, finally divorced. And I actually got separated and divorced with just the cost of that membership. And I thought, wow, that is powerful. Um, I have heard of horror stories with people divorcing and um, going through all the, that journey. And I thought, wow, I had a totally different experience. I have to tell everybody this. Um, not because I want them to divorce and separate, but I want them to, to show them that legal access doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg. And I thought there's probably so many people that um, are probably trapped in relationships. They don't know what to do. If they could only get educated on what their options were, they, would, they could make the right choices for them as opposed to being unhappy. And that's why I decided to start sharing this with the whole world. And, and I absolutely love doing this because I change people's lives. I love that. And one of the key elements, folks, for you listening, what she said, she met someone and at the time they asked her about the product. Now there's usually, when you're talking direct sales, there's two components. One is you can become a rep on your own business and earn money off of it. But the other part is you become a customer of that product. So you can do one, the other, or you can do both. The key element here is something happened and this rep was the top of mind for Balbir. And so she didn't need it right then. So what is it we always say? It's not no, it's just not right now. And so she was able to look her up later. This is very important and I teach this in my referral partnership network. You've got to stay top of mind because what could have happened is Balbir could have lost her contact information 
maybe that girl followed up on the regular basis, which is what I teach, even though they don't need it, you know, after a while, you know, you do your follow-ups umpteen times and you just continue send them articles or do whatever so that when they do need your service or if they hear somebody that needs your service you'll be the first person that comes to the top of their mind when they need something so i absolutely love that that you were able to circle back around and then uh, come and become a rep so tell us what what are the different types of plans that they have available down on legal shield we have, we have plans for your personal use, so that covers uh, you, your spouse, your children up to the age of 26, and that covers things like all your personal things, your getting your wills and powers of attorney done, reviewing documents before you sign them, before you buy a car, all the lease agreements that you have to sign, if you ever get a speeding ticket uh, and nobody likes to admit that but we can simply take a picture with the app upload it and they will call you back um, within six to eight business hours and give you what your options are so you can minimize your your insurance costs that way um, as well and so there's a lot of things that the personal plan will cover um, and even actually even if if someone tries to sue you you've got a bank of hours that uh, that you have at your uh, at your use at your use, but then one of the main things that I like that that we have is the twenty four seven button. We can have access to a live lawyer in an emergency situa emergency situation if we're ever in, confronted by an officer of the law. Three in, three in the afternoon or three in the morning, you can press that button and be guaranteed that you're going to talk to a live lawyer within minutes. And that was one of the powerful things that I learned about the personal plan. The other plans that we have are to cover your businesses, whether you're a home-based uh, self entrepreneur or all the way up to uh, an organization up to about hundred employees. We have different plans to cater for all the different issues that companies have from being little to being big HR issues, collection letters. They have different, different size companies have different needs and we have plans to cover all those and our third plan is the identity theft plan that we have and that covers that covers you it it monitors your information like your social insurance number your health card number your driver's license passport number tradition traditional monitoring companies don't don't look at those things they probably want to check your credit cards and your bank accounts but, but this, this company, this place plan with ID Shield actually monitors you and make sure that your information is not being sold on the dark web. It's monitored 24 seven. And if there's, um, and they will alert you if they see any suspicious activity. And if something were to happen, then you'll be assigned a specialist that will, um, that will do a full restoration until everything is back to normal. And in the States, we actually have the three, three bureau monitoring. And in Canada right now, we just have the one, but we are moving uh, towards improving that as well. Wow, that is some major amazing benefits. So what is the process? Okay, let's just say I'm a member and all of a sudden I need a lawyer. How does the process work? So we basically pick up the, so we have an app of course everything has an app these days right so we have an app we press the button and we're instantly calling into the law firm there's a an intake person she she or he will take down your name uh, and what the question is that you're calling about and you'll say i need advice on dot 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 that gives them the, the information as to what type of lawyer you need you'll get a reference number and the appropriate lawyer that can give you advice um on that particular issue that you have will call you back and and then you take it from there and if they think that a phone call or a letter is going to solve that issue that you have then they will offer to do that and that's all covered in the membership and if it's something more serious that is not covered then you still get 25 percent discount on any um, hourly lawyer wonderful wonderful so let's change gears just for a couple of minutes here. This is all about entrepreneurs and uh, all you guys and gals have agreed to come in and share your experiences and 
we want to encourage people to own and operate their own business. And we all understand that there's pros and cons with everything that we do. Uh, most of us happen to think that the pros outweigh the cons. And so we'd like to share a few things. What are some tips and advice that you'd like to give somebody that's interested in becoming an entrepreneur? Well, first thing is that you have to love what you do. And if you, because if you don't love and you're not passionate about it, you're going to not want to do it. And therefore, the business is not going to work. You actually absolutely um, be really passionate because initially, yes, it is long hours. We're learning, we're training, we're being mentored, or you were mentoring somebody else. It takes time. It's not all fun and um, uh, roses and, and, and fun, but you have to put in the hours pain, short-term pain for long-term gain. And we're doing this now for the benefits that are gonna come later on. Um, something else that I would highly recommend is that when you have your own business, personal development is, is something that you should embark on because that's gonna make you a better person, a better version of you, and everything that you are good at they are, those things are actually going to be heightened so that it was, it's just going to bring out all the awesomeness in you. I don't know if that's a word uh, in you to just to the higher level. And you're going to be so attracting all the, the right people to you. I totally agree with you. I've got a wonderful uh, personal development library here at the house, a couple of thousand uh, volumes. We just inventoried those a couple of months ago. And I knew there was a lot, just didn't know how many. So I was excited about that. But you know, if you're not learning and growing, you're dying. That's and right. so, uh, especially right now in times like these, all these businesses are having to pivot and learn new ways of doing business if they wanna stay in business or not. Um, some of these concepts and business models were okay for doing online and yours happens to be one of them. You, you've lucked into a really great uh, model that you can do no matter where you are, basically all over the world, that you can still do business no matter what happens. And I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of lawsuits and different things going on that people are gonna need uh, help with, and especially that credit monitoring and theft and all of that stuff. Golly, I, I'm just assuming, I don't know this for a fact, but I just bet during this COVID crisis, there has been a lot of people needing, needing that help. So let's think about some of the lessons that you've learned What's something that you know now that you wish that you had known back then when you started your new business? One of the key things that I found is that um, success does not lead to happiness. Happiness leads to success. And it took me a little while to figure that out. Um, and once that I had started on the personal development it became easier and to understand that happiness. And that's one of the reasons why I actually go, went through my journey to find out what I, what I didn't want. And once I've eliminated that, I was in such a happier place that no matter what I did, and, and, and it led me to Legal Shield, I knew that as long as I was happy, I was, going to, I was going to do okay and not okay. I was going to actually thrive. And that's one of the key things. I just wish I'd learned it earlier on. Um, but, but unfortunately, you have to go through the journey sometimes to figure that out. And the other thing is start development early. If you can teach your children whilst they're little, um, get them started. And even as teenagers, it's never too late to start. I was over 50 when I first started um, I even heard of personal development, Jim Rohn, Tony Robbins, Jeff Olson, all these fantastic motivators um, and authors. If, if I had known in my early 20s, who knows, who knows where, my, where I would be today. I love that you said that. My kids make fun of me for years and years and years in the cars, and now they can quote back because... You know, we had cassette tapes back then. So every time we'd get in the car, I'd throw on Zig Ziglar, Brian Tracy, Jim Rohn, like you said, you know, and just continuously fed my brain with all those wonderful, uh, wonderful men of personal development that blazed the trail on, on human potential. I mean, our, and we haven't even begun to scrape uh, just the surface on what we're capable of doing. So it's, to me, that's so exciting. And I, I love learning. 
So do you have uh, some kind of a special offer for our listeners today? So my offer today, because I, I can't discount these plans, but I can give you a little bit of a reward. Uh, anybody that takes the membership for any of these services, and we are available across Canada and the US, I will give you a $25 gift card of your choice. So if you prefer a coffee card, I can give you that. If you prefer a gas card, whatever you like. Um, so any anybody that enrolls or any referrals, I will still gift you that card. Wow, folks, you heard that. That's a great deal. That is a great deal. Well, Balbir, it was wonderful having you on here today. Uh, folks, I'm going to put her contact information on how you can contact her in the description box so you can reach out and take advantage of her special offer today. And uh, you might want to just contact her to learn more about the services and how they can benefit you. So folks, you can join us next time as we explore a little more into the wonderful world of entrepreneurship. We offer tips and advice on how everyday people just like you and me are building sustainable business models that can fund the life of your dreams. How does that sound? For those of you who are already in business, we're going to help you discover a myriad of creative ways to pivot and grow your business exponentially. How does that sound? Imagine adding an extra 5, 10, 20 or more referral partners to your network every week over the next 12 months. Do you think that could appreciate your bottom line just a little bit? How do you think your profit would look if you had that many people working on your behalf, right? A frontline profit machine, that's what we offer. So tune in to learn how to solve some of the most common pitfalls and we'll also be answering some of your questions. Feel free to contact me and submit those. You can text me at 850-499-7149. You've been listening to Who Wants to Be an Entrepreneur with Nancy Gaskins, inspiring and teaching everyday people how to create, fund, and live a life worth smiling and talking about. We believe the best way to do that is to become an entrepreneur. So come join our tribe. Thanks again, Valbir, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.